Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in this one I'm gonna show you step by step how to install mods and fabric for Minecraft 1.18.1 That's right, you've heard it right in this one. I'm going to show you how to install fabric for Minecraft 1.18.1 with mods, of course, and you can pick any mods you want. For this video, I'm going to just use a random mod just to show you how it works, but you can use any mods you want as long as they're up to date with Minecraft 1.18 and 18.1. Before we get started, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one. And last but not least, go to danielplace.net or use the link down below in the description to danielplace.net for an extensive tutorial and the useful links that you're gonna need to actually install fabric and mods for Minecraft 1.18.1. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your Minecraft launcher. You wait for it to load and then you just launch it with the latest release, which is 1.18.1. If it's not selected by default, then be sure to just click here and select the latest release 1.18.1. Now all you gotta do is click play and wait for the game to load. So here we are, Minecraft 1.80.1. Once it's launched, you can just click quit game. Now open up your browser. You can either use the links down below in the description, like I said, or look everything up yourself. All you gotta do is go over to fabricmc.net. You'll be brought over to this website and then over here under installation, it says which you can download here and you can click the word here. If you're on Windows, you just click this right button right here. And if you're on any other operating system, you click this left one right here. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click this one. This will download a fabric installer. You just click it. As you can see, it's just opened the fabric installer and now Minecraft version 1.18.1 should be selected by default. Make sure to check this box that says create profile and just click install. It should take just a few seconds and then you will see this pop up that says successfully installed and you just click OK. You can close this installer and now we're actually going to install mods. Now do note for some mods you're actually going to need fabric API which you can download using this link right here. It's just the same as any mod that you would download and you would put it in the mod folder as well. So the next thing we're going to do is actually download and install mods. So for this one, I picked the replay mod because I actually kind of forgot about it because you can download it from its own website and not only from CurseForge and therefore you don't really see it pop up on CurseForge all that often. So a link will be in the description or in the link that will be in the description or you just look up replay mod. You go to this first website right here. You click download now and you'll be brought to the downloads where you click the one that says Minecraft 1.18.1. It says requires fabric and it says that because before Minecraft 1.14.4, it used to always be a Forge mod. So you just click download right here. It is a direct download, so that's great. And we have actually downloaded the mod and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna drag this mod over to the desktop, just like that. And now all we need to do is go over to the search bar, type in percent app data percent and hit enter you'll find yourself in this folder where there's also a .minecraft folder which you double click. Now if you've never installed mods before, there won't be a mods folder, so let's just pretend I never installed mods before. Now you're gonna right click over here, hover new, click folder and name it mods lowercase. You open that folder and drag in all the mods, including fabric API if that is required by the mod, into this mods folder. Now that's it, you can close this window, open up your Minecraft launcher. It should have actually selected the fabric loader 1.18.1 profile by default, but if it hasn't, or if you can't even see it in this list, go over to installations and make sure that modded is selected here. If it's unselected, as you can see, you cannot see modded versions of Minecraft. So if you click this, you can see it again and you can click play on the fabric loader profile. So you click play and you will get this warning the first time you actually load up a new version of modded Minecraft. You just read this and if you do understand the risks, you click this little box right here and you click play. So there we go, as you can see, this is Minecraft 1.18.1. It says here in the bottom left corner slash fabric modded. And if we actually take a very close look at this menu, not much has changed, but there's this new button that says replay viewer. It's empty now because we haven't even entered any worlds or servers, but what this mod does is it records your gameplay in real time and then saves it to a file so you can revisit it later and make cinematic clips out of it. So that is 
really, really cool. And it is a very powerful tool if you're actually a content creator. As you can see, here we are in a fresh Minecraft 1.18.1 world. And as you can see in the top left corner, I was gonna say top right, but top left corner, it says recording, which you're not actually gonna see when you play back the actual recording but it just lets you know that it is in fact recording this current gameplay. And if we take a look at the chat, it says recording started, which is a chat message that you get when entering a server or a single player world. And you know, that's just to confirm that it's actually now recording your Minecraft gameplay. So that's how you install mods for Minecraft 1.18.1 with Fabric Mod Loader. I hope you were actually able to install fabric and mods for Minecraft 1.18.1 using this video. If you actually were able to do it, then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And then last but not least, as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.